Hello and welcome to how to change a hard drive on a 15 inch PowerBook G4. So we got a lot of uh, screws to remove here. Um, let's just get started with the things you're going to need. Um, first, if you notice, I have like a rag underneath the uh, PowerBook so I can move it around without scratching the surface. Uh, of course, I have the hard drive, a penny to pry open the, the battery on the power book. I have a Phillips, looks like a number zero zero. I don't know what this bit is called, but it's a 1.5 and it's a hexagonal uh, bit. And I'm using a electronic cleaning wipe dried out. Uh, along with a uh, flathead screwdriver so I can pry open the, the top of the MacBook without scratching it. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the battery. Take a coin, turn it just like that, and pry open the battery. Now we have a bunch of uh, screws to remove, so let's grab our Phillips screwdriver. And first what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two screws inside where the, the battery was, inside the battery compartment. Um, these four, which is where the RAM is located. These four over here. And I think there is one or two inside the, uh, the RAM compartment. So let's get started. Okay, so we removed all these screws. Now what we have to do is we have one, two, three screws here. We have one, two, three, four here. And we have one, two, three here. So let's get started in removing those. Let's open up our power book. Um, you notice that we have to remove two more screws here and here. Um, the screwdriver piece that I told you before was wrong. It's an actual octagon shape and the size is 1 16th. So let's go ahead and remove those two screws. Alright, so let's grab our screwdriver and our uh, cloth. Let's try to pry this open carefully. Alright, now you'll notice that we have a bracket with two screws. I'm not really sure if you can see it on um, your power book. It's actually going to be on the right side. I filmed this with my MacBook Pro so everything is mirrored. So everything is pretty much backwards. All right, we'll take the bracket out, and this is what it looks like. Let's remove any tape. And there's a wire here that we want to pull out of the way. And this little orange piece right here, it's a uh, it connects to the another board. Let's try to slowly pry that out. Okay. 
Let's remove the hard drive. Now you notice that there are four more screws we need to remove. Um, they are holding this plastic piece together against the the hard drive. That's what uh, keeps any kind of dust and other stuff getting into the bottom of the hard drive. Be careful with this piece. It is uh it's pretty fragile, so you want to remove it very slowly. You also notice that there's a gap right there, which I will show you after I take this piece out. Now here's the gap. The long strip of uh pins is where the connector will go to the uh new hard drive, so let's take it out. this cover back on actually we'll put the uh, the connector piece it's a lot easier to put that back on first okay we'll put this piece back on after that we'll put the hard drive back into the power book then the bracket uh, we will connect that orange connector to the board and screw in back all the screws special thanks to Terrence who donated this power book G4 to me and thanks for watching